everybody of course we are walking around the move at the moment we are going very very quickly of course and that's because I haven't got the greatest news in the sense that we've just picked up on Hosanna's tracks running with Tinkana with almost said Tinkata with Tingana's tracks in hot pursuit which is not great that's what we didn't want I was hoping that that was going to be the end of it he chased or signed him away there was definitely in that um, audio clip that we did here there was definitely contact that had happened a leopard will not make those sounds that we heard if he's just standing and watching a leopard in the distance if you've ever seen two male leopards fighting before even if you've ever seen mating leopards before you'll know that those are the sounds um, of, con of proper contact so I think Hosanna got obviously got a bit of a smack and then went running off and he went running straight down into the drainage line just behind Vuyatela Dam going straight east and we've continuously been following their tracks what we're trying to do now is it's getting a little bit thick in there so we're trying to get back to the Twin Dams Road as quick as we can so we can go towards Chele Pan and go back down into the drainage line again and start from there so we are moving as quick as we can because the longer we hang around and wait uh, the further they could get away and of course we want to try and find them and figure out exactly what is going on it's impossible for James and them to get in here in the cars so that's where we as bushwalk team are very important but we need to work as quickly and as efficiently as we can so if that means us going back around onto the road so that we can walk where it's a little bit more open so we can move quicker that's what we need to do but we've got a general idea of course of which direction uh, the tracks are going let's just bob and weave through here watch your head here over the tracks we go I am holding a couple of things in my hand I'm collecting along the way but we'll chat about them a little bit later let's see now Herbie's of course Herbie is on a mission this morning he also wants to try and find out what on earth is going on with uh, these leopards Tingana is obviously very upset he doesn't seem to be too happy at all at the moment and I don't blame him firstly he's had to send quarantine and tell him give him a hiding and send him home and say you stay there you don't you're not allowed here then we've had Mvula sneaking in constantly in his territory that would have upset him too and now of course Hosanna is hanging around He's not liking that. I think he feels as though he's being, his, uh, everyone's abusing their privileges, if that makes sense. He's sort of saying, okay, you can come through, but now you're making kills in my territory. You're marking in my territory and you're doing all of those things. Actually, I'm not going to stand for it anymore. And psyche has gone on a bit of a rampage, which I don't blame him because Tingana has put in all the hard work to try and claim this ter territory for himself. And now he's got other leopards that think that they can just do what he wants. He's obviously been too kind before and now he's setting the standard and saying, I'm not tolerating this anymore. He is getting older. So I think he's also, he's in the prime of his life though. I think he's going, Phew. if I don't show these boys now, I might lose my territory to a young upstart like Quarantine, for example. Osana hasn't really got a chance, unfortunately. He's still too young. He needs a good four or five years of growing. And um, now Molly, you were actually wondering exactly that, if uh, Hosanna is considered a threat to Tingana. No, no, not at all. So that's why I'm now starting to think that, um, I don't actually even know what's going on. I'm really nervous to come across these leopards and because I, I, don't, I don't even know what to say to any of you. We, we can only speculate until we find the animals. It's the same thing with Karula. We can only speculate everything, but we don't have the evidence to prove this. But the fact that Tingana's tracks are very fresh, Hosanna's tracks are very fresh, they're over the top of the dew, which means that they're from earlier this morning. We might not be too far behind them, but like I said, we've got to keep the pace going. Sorry, Senzel's walking backwards very quickly. Herbie's getting up around the corner. Also, the faster we move and the closer we get, if there's another altercation or a growl or a saw, we're going to hear it. We want to be able to hear it because that will pinpoint their location. So whew, I'm almost shaking. The adrenaline is pumping in my body and it's not the good kind of adrenaline as well. It's sort of more nervous. I don't know what to expect. 
Um, like I said, it's, I really think Tangan is on a, 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 a rampage and he wants to prove a point. And I just hope that he hasn't hurt Hosanna because Hosanna just doesn't know. He, he was, he's been left at a young age to sort of take on the big bad world all by himself and he's doing the best that he can. So let's hope that, uh, well, Hosanna's youth and his stamina with all the energy that he does have as a youngster has helped him and enabled him to sort of sprint away. But we're gonna keep marching and hopefully get back onto those tracks again and, and come back with some good news. But let's go back across to Dubairon and see how his search for the leopards is going.